Did I look masculine? <laughs> okay, cool. Today, we are dressing up as men. I've never heard of drag kings before. I'm just really excited about like stuffing and having just like a huge c I don't know why I'm so uncomfortable to dress as a guy and act as a guy. What if I'm hotter as a dude? I really want to know how they're going to contour my face. My biggest issue is I'm wondering where my boobs are going to go. Why do you think no one knows about drag kings? So drag is already a subculture of the traditional gay, lesbian, and trans yeah. community. Drag queens are the more flamboyant, over the top. They send out in crowds more. There has been drag kings. It's just not seen as a spotlight. It's still a man's world in a, <laughs> in a way. It is, even though they're dressed as women. What in inspired you to start doing drag? I've been dancing since I was three. They always made me do the, you know, the girl side and I was looking at the guys and what they were doing. How did you like learn all the makeup skills? The University of YouTube. A lot of homework. I was born as a woman biologically, so I still do what I have to do to be a drag king. It's just this like alter ego, exactly. like amplified mm -hmm. persona of yourself. It's whatever you're feeling that day. When I was like watching you, I was like, I'm so turned on right now. This is insane. Thanks. You're welcome. With like the boobs, <laughs> where do they go? Under your armpit? They don't go there. There's technique, they'll get there. This is my goal. My boyfriend is gonna be in the crowd. I wanna get him so sexually confused. It's gonna be great. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm in. All right, you we're know. doing it. Two hours until we slay these bitches. So, like, do you fix my eye, make my eyebrows more like uh -huh. Manny? Yes. Okay. Men have more top brow mm -hmm. than women, so yours goes a little bit higher. I feel like, like I'm really out of my element right now. <laughs> this is what my mustache is gonna be made out of. <laughs> Yeah. This is so awesome. How does it feel to have chest hair? You're looking pretty manly yeah. right now, for sure. Such attention to detail, I love it. I feel like I just have a bunch of pubes glued to my face. You look like a new human. No you way. look really cool though. My biggest fear was that I'm gonna turn into a 1970s porn star. Luckily, I'm not too boobage. These are gonna be gone. Wait, what do you do again? I get Corella glue duct tape and I take strips of it and I cover my nipples with like band-aids or something to protect yeah. it and I just go and I back, back, back and up, back and up, back and up, back and up. My penis! I have my penis. Landon gave me an awesome dick. It feels really cool. It's like kind of sexually exciting me. Dina. <laughs> I love being a guy. I have to figure out what my name is. You have to choose a name that fits you, not just the okay. one character you do. Okay. Just in. Pawns up her skirt, so I thought you should know that. I really want to see myself. When is this happening? <laughs> it's weird because I have cramps right now, but I also can feel them. Me dick. too! So are you ready for this? Yes. I'm scared. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, it looks like you gave me different bone structure. Holy s***. Whoa. Yay. I look like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Would I date myself? Probably. What did you do? I didn't have many expectations, so this is really crazy. I look like an Abe Lincoln you'd want to Oh my god, I really look like a dude. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so ready. Let's f***ing do this. Let's do it. So hello everyone. Welcome to BuzzFeed's first Drag King show. Please give it up for our first performer, Philip Insider. I have an entirely different face. I didn't want Linda messing with my eyes and I didn't want to take off my nail polish and I'm still just 100% a dude. Interacting with the girls and like grinding on them, putting my hat on them, that was so much fun. Once you get your sock in your pants, you like walk a different way. It was really cool, I loved it. I was really, really nervous. What I realized is that it's just about elevating parts of yourself that you really don't get to express in everyday life. I could see the terrified look on my boyfriend's face, but it was awesome to watch it go from terror to slightly impressed, to like totally impressed, to actually having a lot of fun. So much of it is just the way you look and your body language and your eye contact. Everyone acted like they'd never seen glitter before. I, I feel like I invented glitter when I did that. 
I thought it would be pretty easy, but it's really hard and it's really an art to act like this. I think that Freddie Mercury's looking down on me being like, okay, she has my blessing. She did a good job. I talked to the game about being a good looking guy. I can like confidently say like, yeah, like I would be a good looking guy. I had so many girls come up to me that they were so confused. Like they didn't want to think I was sexy. I achieved my goal. I wanted to turn girls on and I did. This is by far, hands down, without a doubt, the most eye-opening, adventurous thing I've done in my entire life. Not even like one of the, no, it like is the. Mad love to all the drag kings. You guys work your asses off and you made us look amazing. You made us perform well. We all felt like hot ass dudes.